Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denisha. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This video, my hair looks crazy, but you know when it's a hair video or tutorial, I just come on like this, so <laughs> ain't no shame in my name. So um, this video was requested for quite some time, I must say, and I apologize that it took so long to actually do this video. I have no excuse, but um, I was asked if I can do the video of how I slick my hair back into a sleek ponytail um, like when I do my height, my low puff um, when I add pieces of hair and all of that like extra extension to my hair um, without there being like bumps and like humps and whatever you want to call it um, because I think I mentioned in a few videos that there is a specific technique that I use when I want to achieve this style and I also do this when I want you know my puff to be like really really full um, because if I just did a normal you know putting my hair back just like that my ends aren't gonna be as full as it would be when you see that I have this big puff going on I was doing this since I had TWA hair this is a method that I was using and I'm going to show it to you right now I'm going to need um, a spray bottle with some water or if you want, if you're doing it on clean hair, make sure your hair is a little bit damp. That's just me, my opinion. Um, I think that to get the sleek look, your hair needs to be, you know, a little bit damp just to get it to be more controlled because if I comb all my hair out and have my afro and try to put my hair back, it's going to give me trouble. Like, it's going to be really, really hard for me to slick it back or make it sleek. So, I've got some water. I've got my Eco Styler gel, you can use whatever gel you want to use. I personally like or prefer to use the Eco Styler gel, the olive oil one when I am putting my hair back, blow puff, type of whatever. As long as it's a style that I need like maximum hold, I use the green one. Um, almost all of the Eco Styler gels say there is maximum hold but I think this is the one that is actually true to that and actually holds my hair down. You use whatever gel does that for you, e um, edge control or whatever does that for you. Um, I use two scrunchies, pony rings, um, hair ties. You're going to need a bristle brush and you're going to need something to detangle your hair, a white tooth comb or uh, I'm using my Devlin brush. Now, um, my hair is pretty moisturized. If your hair isn't moisturized, make sure your hair is moisturized and um, oiled or whatever because especially your ends, if you're going to have your ends out, make sure that it's moisturized really well because you don't want breakage and all of that going on. That's just a little tip. So, my, but my ends are quite moisturized because I moisturized it last night. So I'm um, going to separate my hair into two sections, one above and one below. It doesn't matter if there is an accurate part or not, it doesn't bother me. Okay, so... Alright, so I've got my hair into two sections. Okay, so I'm gonna take the water bottle and I'm just gonna spritz my hair. Just to get a little bit damp so I could detangle it. Okay, so now that my hair is detangled, I'm going to take some Eco Style Gel. Not a lot, not as much as I would put at the front. So I'm just going to get just enough to hold my hair down in the back. Make sure you get underneath as well. Sometimes I forget to get underneath and then I'm like, what's going on behind there? The front of my hair is slicked and the back is just doing its own thing. <laughs> so I'm just taking my brush and I'm just smoothing that in. So 
So once that's smoothed in, I am going to take one of the hair ties and I'm just going to put it in a ponytail. So that's that. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the section in the front. is I, I'm still holding on to it but I hold it a little bit looser like away from my scalp but I'm still holding my hair and I take the brush and then I smooth back I take the second hair tie and I just wrap it around. Okay, so that is what I do. And to get it even more slick, like when you see my hair like really slicked down, um, I would cover my hair with a satin scarf or a silk scarf and I'll just leave it on for a few minutes if I can get it good away with having it on for at least an hour I do that but um that is just whew, <laughs> that is just the technique that I use to get my slick or sleek um, low puff low bun and um, how I also make my ends appear fuller so as you can see that is how look at how full it is look how full it is whereas if I had just put it back without doing the sections it would have been like really really small so um, with the ends I usually do a puff where I just comb my hair out like comb all the curls out and just do a puff or sometimes I put it in a bun or sometimes I put it in a bun and I add like extension to it like a um, ponytail or something or I do like a mini wash and go that's what I call it a mini wash and go on my ends so that's how I've been wearing it for the last few days so all I do is I just wet my hair and I just put some gel on it to get the curls defined and then that's about it So that's how I do my sleek low puff, guys. I hope this video helped. I hope that um, those of you who requested it, this makes it a little bit easier for you. And or if you just wanted to know the secret to my fuller puff, um, this is what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I would catch you in my next video. Bye.